In the late 1980s, the Boeing Corporation planned to create an unusual airplane with one of the latest technological advances of its time, prop fan engines. The company wanted this new aircraft to replace the highly effective and successful Boeing 727 that first flew in 1963. Seen here, the Boeing 7J7 would have a capacity for 150 passengers. It would be equipped with ultra-high bypass engines, advanced flight deck displays, electrical flight control signaling, and high-reliability avionics. The aircraft would be built with new materials that made it lighter, faster, and cheaper than other competitors. The plane captivated international appeal because its technological advancements would make it the most fuel-efficient aircraft to date. At the same time, the aircraft maintained the speed and power needed for commercial use. But ongoing technical modifications by Boeing and contrasting opinions between Japanese, British, and Scandinavian corporate partners caused the project to be postponed indefinitely. It was eventually cancelled in the 90s due to a drop in oil prices and a changing airplane market. The Airline Deregulation Act of 1978, issued by the federal government, encouraged the creation of a more competitive air services market. As the government deregulated the airline business, new companies introduced themselves to the market in hopes of establishing their industries alongside older and more well-known companies. The new free market quickly achieved its purpose, competitiveness. Boeing intended to replace the Series 727 aircraft with a new plane that could compete with other commercial airlines' latest editions. The old Boeing 727 had a solid reputation in the United States and overseas. Still, it was starting to look dated next to recent models from rival companies. The first recorded flight of the trustworthy 727 was on February 9, 1963. The company knew it was time for a change. Work on the new aircraft began in 1985. The company wanted to incorporate new technologies that adjusted to the purpose of a smaller plane that was going to be used for shorter commercial flights on thinner routes. At the same time, Boeing wanted to retain certain similarities to the old 727 so that existing customers had no trouble replacing the old planes. When Boeing communicated the new plane's concept to its consumers, it appealed to Scandinavian, British, and Japanese consumers. Scandinavian Airlines and Japanese Development Corps were so thrilled by the new idea that they became corporate partners for the new aircraft. The latter had a share of 25%. In 1986, Boeing had finished the first concept for the aircraft. It was going to have a capacity for 150 passengers with a short or medium design. The advanced technology that would make the model unique included a glass cockpit that would use LCDs for the display and an advanced integrated avionics suite. The materials were composed of high-strength carbon fiber and aluminum that made the plane 2,000 pounds lighter. Besides that, the new computer systems would reduce 1,300 pounds worth of cables and connectors that would no longer be required. According to Boeing's research, all the design features would result in a 60% fuel efficiency. Internally, the cabin would have a twin-aisle seating configuration of 222, making it broader and more spacious for the passengers. The seat placement would decrease onboarding and deboarding times by 10 minutes. The innovative modular seat elements enabled the distance between rows, seat width, and armrest to be fixed according to the crew and passenger's preference. The engine, however, became a controversial point. Initially, when Boeing and the Japanese became partners, it was stated that the aircraft would use an IAE V2500 turbofan. But that changed in development when Boeing determined that a new prop fan engine would yield considerable fuel savings. Boeing designated the new aircraft Boeing 7J7, with the J standing for Japan, to distinguish the generous collaboration with their Pacific partner. On August 20th, 1986, General Electric's experimental JE-36 prop fan engine was tested on a modified Boeing 727. Minor problems included engine noise levels and a performance that was deemed as merely acceptable. It was simply too radical a change for a little performance improvement. Meeting noise regulations lowered efficiency further. Despite the initial promise, the use of the prop fan engine ended up halting production of the plane. 
In the following months, Boeing took a radical decision after a meeting with Scandinavian Airlines. They desired to have an additional plane configuration besides the standard 222 seat order for 150 passengers. The second configuration proposed was for a shorter 232 split for 110 seats. This sudden change made other airlines wary of investing. To make things worse, it was later leaked that the 150 passenger configuration would use traditional ducted fans, while the 110 version would keep the prop fan engine. In August 1987, Boeing publicly confirmed the leaks. Three carriers remained interested. British Airways, Scandinavian Airlines, and American Airlines. However, the disparity between the versions that each airline preferred made Boeing indecisive, forcing the company to push the release date to 1993. In December of 1987, Boeing decided to delay the aircraft indefinitely. As months passed by, the attention the Boeing 7J7 was able to attract quickly faded away from the public. Internally, the number of engineers concentrated on the aircraft was drastically reduced from 1,000 to 300. Eventually, all of Boeing's resources shifted to the production of the Boeing 737 and 757. When the project was halted, Boeing pressed the interested airlines to buy the new iterations of the 737. The disparity of opinions regarding the definitive version of the 7J7 with the 150 and 110 seat configurations forced Boeing to stop the project and make the decision internally. A drop in fuel prices internationally led to the final halt and cancellation of the aircraft. <laughs> 